kind of went bust, they all moved out. Yeah. So this was the Bono store. It was a man from an immigrant, Italian immigrant named Giuseppe Bono came here from Italy, brought his wife, or he met her here actually. They uh, bought the store from John Gleason. And you can even see his name on the top there. It is locked up, it is condemned, it is uh, a dangerous uh, area, a safety hazard, <laughs> yes. Um, it was a mercantile, it was a bar, it was also uh, a gas station at one time. Right out here they had gas pumps like in the 30s. So it's been a number of things. But in the back, the Bono family lived in the back, it goes way, it's longer than it is wide. Yeah. They had three daughters and one son, and then the parents of Joe and his wife lived here. And as you can see, it's it's falling down. But they lived in the back. That was their family quarters. They had no water or electricity. They depended on wells. And one of the reasons that these walls are still standing is because when they constructed them, they used cow's blood with the straw really? and the jerk or the sand that they used yeah. they mixed it with cow's blood because it would coagulate and it would just hold better it would yeah. just keep things together a little better than just regular water yeah I and so since it was a, a cattle town also we had cattle ranchers here uh they would slaughter the cows for meat yeah. and then they would just Pretty use every stuff. part of the cow so they would bring the buckets up here by hand, mix it up. It had to be gross. It had to smell. Just be careful up there. So it wasn't fit for human consumption, and that's why they had wells. People that lived here had their wells. So this water was basically just a runoff, and also the cows would poop in it and, you know, go through it and everything, and it was just it was a mess. But this tree down here, the big one that we're looking at here, is the first leaf in jail. Oh. <laughs> Tied to the tree. Yeah. Tied to the tree, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see the chains, we're gonna see the cables. And this tree is about a few hundred years old. It's an oak tree. So this was probably half the size, I'm thinking, a hundred years ago. But then it's also been an active place where people have been chained up since 1930 because it depended on the sheriff whoever it was in the town of Gleason would have different rules and regulations so most of the time they were miscreants drunkards you know troublemakers and they would come down here and they would uh, chain them to the tree throw a couple more tools out for them for overnight no flushing toilet 